Hello, I'm Doris Kearns Goodwin, and after researching presidents all my life, I've learned a little bit about how some of them celebrated their holidays, including 100 years of Roosevelt's in No Ordinary Time and the Bully Pulpit. Can you imagine when you're inviting friends and family to Christmas, if at FDR's White House you suddenly found out that Winston Churchill was coming, and not only coming for a few days, but coming December 22nd and staying till after New Year's, and with lots of requirements for his visit, he told the butler that he didn't want any whistling in the corridor, that he had to have a tumbler of sherry every morning for breakfast, he had to have glasses of scotch and soda for lunch, and he had to have 90-year-old brandy every night before going to dinner. And then he and FDR would stay up often until 2 a.m. talking and smoking cigars and cigarettes until finally Eleanor would come in and say, isn't it time for you two little boys to go to bed? But of course there was a serious side of it and they, they actually decorated and celebrated the lighting of the Christmas tree on the White House grounds, even though this was right after Pearl Harbor, this first Christmas meeting and the Secret Service was worried about whether it might attract bombs. And Churchill gave a fabulous speech saying, let the children enjoy this night tonight. Tomorrow we'll worry about the world and we will make this world a safe place.